In this video, we'll give you a sneak peek of some things that we've been working on to improve Adobe Media Encoder. When we've talked to people about what improvements they'd like to see in Adobe Media Encoder, they often mention that they would like to work faster. Not meaning that they want to have the encoding go faster necessarily, but just that things are easier to do in Adobe Media Encoder. That things are more convenient, that the user interface is more friendly. So. I'll show you a few of the improvements that we've made specifically regarding bringing things into Adobe Media Encoder that should make it faster and easier. First, a simple example. For those of you who are familiar with After Effects and Premiere Pro, you're probably used to double clicking in the project panel in an empty area to open the import dialog box. So if I double click in this empty area of the encoding queue in Adobe Media Encoder, it opens the import dialog box. I can choose this JPEG item in a sequence check JPEG file sequence to import the entire sequence, click open, and it imports the entire image sequence into Adobe Media Encoder. Something that you've been able to do since Adobe Media Encoder CS5 is to drag and drop directly from the Finder in Mac OS or from Windows Explorer in Windows, like so. And you've also been able to drag a sequence into Adobe Media Encoder by dragging the project and then choosing a sequence. But something that we've added is the ability to drag directly from Premiere Pro. So if I Alt-Tab to Premiere Pro, select a sequence, begin to drag, and then Alt-Tab back to Adobe Media Encoder, I can drop that sequence into Adobe Media Encoder. Similarly, if I Alt-Tab to After Effects, start to drag a composition, Alt-Tab back to Adobe Media Encoder, and drop. That composition is added directly to the encoding queue. Now I'll minimize After Effects, and I'll minimize Adobe Premiere Pro. And now let's talk about watch folders. Watch folders are very useful, but many people have told us that they're difficult to find and difficult to use, so we've made them easier. For example, there's now a Watch Folders pane at the bottom of the Adobe Media Encoder interface. Click this arrow to expand it. And now, if I double-click, I can open a Watch Folder. Or rather, add a Watch Folder to the queue. If I select the Watch Folder, and click the Remove Folder button, which looks like a minus sign. It's removed from the queue. I can also drag a Watch Folder from the Finder in Mac OS or from Windows Explorer in Windows and drop it into the Watch Folders area. And that adds it to the queue. Select it, remove it, and finally notice that I can just click the Add Folder button, which looks like a plus sign, to add a Watch Folder. All of these are little improvements that make it easier to get things into Adobe Media Encoder.